Okay, I'm going to probably make a few mistakes along the way with this one because I'm not an expert on programming on this uh, EI9X. I've only had this going, I think, for about a couple of weeks now, so I haven't used it much, haven't done that much in the way of programming. But I'll quickly run through what I've done. Okay, so first thing we need to do is go into... I'm doing the um, Bixler at the moment, so we'll go through... I've actually deleted all my settings, and I'm going to re-enter those in there. So I've got my aileron, um, what is it, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So what I'll do is I'll cycle down to... This is my mixing mode. And what I'll do is cycle down to channel 5, and this is the one that I'm going to actually be using for my three position switch, um, as in the normal flight mode, the pilot assist mode, and the return to home mode. So once in that mode, hold down the menu button. Um, what we need to do is change this source, and we'll change that to full. So full. Weight, I'm going to reduce that to zero. And that's okay. And the switch I'm going to be using is ID, whoops, ID zero. Now hopefully you can see that. There we go. I think you should be able to see that now. And once you've done that, press uh, escape. So that's the first one done. What we'll do now is hit the menu button once, and that highlights it all. And press the down button, and that's made another copy of that one. So what we'll do, we'll go into that one by holding the menu button. That full is okay. We want to change the weight of this one to 50%, which is the halfway point. Okay then, and we don't want it to be ID 0, we want it to be ID 1. That's okay, so press escape, and that's on that one. So once again, select that one by pressing, by pressing the uh, menu button, and that's highlighted all, highlighted it all. Press the down, and we've made another copy of it. So holding down the menu button again, and what we'll do, we'll change that to 100%. Oops, wrong way. Okay, 100%. Okay, that's okay. And the offset, you want to change that. I think I had mine to about 50 or 55. And that just centers the mid position of the servo, so say about there, and that goes to ID two. Press escape, and that's basically all your programming for the uh, Nova OSD. Now what you'll find is, when you hook this up, you're gonna have this switch, uh, the um, three position switch in the top position, and that'll work fine. You'll drop down to the middle position, and you're gonna find it'll go to PA mode, and then you'll drop down to the return to home mode, and you're gonna freak out because it's not working. The reason it's actually not working is because your GPS probably hasn't got a GPS fix on your location, so hence it can't return to home. So you need to have the GPS fix, you need to have your um, OSD actually acquire a GPS fix on your location and then the return to home will work. So just keep an eye on that because you may do all this programming and find it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, that's the reason why. Okay, so the programming for this is done now, so we'll go escape, um, go down to channel 6. Now in channel 6, I use my mode, so I hold the menu button down, and what I'm going to do is change that to full also. Uh, weight is 100%, that's correct. We don't have to worry, need to worry about offset. All we need to do for this one is change it to the trainer switch. Trainer switch, and that's done it. Um, that's basically all there is to it. Um, and then obviously, you know, um, hook up your Nova OSD and it should all work fine. So that's the programming that I'm using on my Bixler, and it seems to work and work fine. Hopefully that didn't take too long, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Um, and if you want to see something else, by all means let me know, and if I'm capable of doing it or I know how to do it, I'll, I'll, I'll have a go at it. Thanks for watching.